Hello, my name is Miss Anita and I am a children's librarian at the Hamiltonese Public Library and today I am here to show you how to make some super cool biodegradable seedling pots that you can make at your very home with the help of some seeds from our seed library. You can access our seed library catalog through our Hamiltonese Public Library website. Just click on services and then scroll on down to the seed library and you can see all the seeds that we have available and you are allowed to take 20 packets of seeds. So you can look at the seeds and decide what will work best for your location. Today we are going to be planting some sunflower seeds in our homemade plant pots. So the supplies you're going to need are a glass and some newspaper, your seed packet or packets from the seed library, and some potting soil. Okay, to get started, the size of newspaper is really dependent upon the size of glass that you have. And I will say that a glass that has straight edges, not tapered edges, works best. And I just happen to have this jar around my house. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Keep in mind, the bigger the glass, the more dirt you're going to need also. So I'll take my newspaper and I'm going to fold it about one third of the way up like this and about one third of the way down like this. Now the equation here, so if you're using a different size of glass than I am, you want to have about four inches sticking out on top of the glass. So my strip of paper is now about four inches taller than my glass. Now it's super easy. We're simply going to take our glass and roll it inside a piece of newspaper. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And we want to keep it pretty tight. Now, this tall flap at the top is going to become the bottom of our plant pot. So to make the bottom, what we need to do now is fold in these sides around our glass like so. I really want to make sure I've got it folded nice and crisp. Now we're going to gently try to pull our glass out the other side. Ta-da! Now if you look in there, it's still open. That's not good, right? All of our dirt's going to fall right out. So I'm going to pinch the bottom edge to make sure it has a nice crease. I'm going to turn it over and look inside there. You can see the newspaper sticking up. I'm going to press it all down with my fingers. And to really make sure it's nice and flat in there, I'm going to stick my cup back in and give it a good twist and a push. Now we have a nice little plant pot to plant our seeds. If this little flap does that, you can use a little piece of tape. Just keep in mind that that, may, that tape is not biodegradable and before you plant your pot in the ground, you'll need to take that piece of tape off. But right now, if we were to fill this with dirt and plant a seed in it, we could literally plant that entire pot into the ground and the newspaper will biodegrade. It's really cool. So to demonstrate how to plant our seed, we will take our dirt, and fill up our new plant pot with some potting soil. Potting soil is kind of special. It has other ingredients in it that make the water drain really well and it helps our little seedlings grow. And based on the instructions on my seed packet, I know that I need to plant the seed one to two inches below the level. So I'm gonna put my seed here. These seeds are nice and big, but you might choose a plant that has really tiny seeds and you'll have to use a pair of uh, tweezers to get the seed out. So now I'm going to cover it with dirt, give it some water and put it in a sunny place. Once my sprout starts to grow a few inches, I can transplant the entire pot into the ground. <laughs> 